And here we go, the big chase that as of yet is still the best one that I've probably ever had. An enhanced day in New Mexico. 5% tornado risk down in the southeast corner. 2% risk that reached up a little bit higher north. Close enough to Albuquerque that it felt like I was chasing at home. As you can see, the tornado watchers that were issued that day reached as far northwest as Santa Fe. And right here... The mesoscale discussion that was issued ended up showing that the tornado and other hazard risk was going to be pretty close to Albuquerque, which was verified by this development of supercells and verified by me, as you can see right here, pointing out one of the early storms of the day. That storm would end up being channeled and its energy taken over by another supercell see right here I ended up getting pretty close looks like that was read but not as close as some other people And eventually deciding that we didn't want our windshield to look like reed timbers with hail at least as big as what you can see fitting in this bottle cap. Decided that it wasn't worth it to get cored by the storm. Now, as usual, like including time lapsed visuals, that way you can get in a idea of the nature of these storms and what they look like what you can't quite visualize in real time even when you're right below it like we were right here and as i said eventually not wanting to get cored it was time to get out from underneath the storm and the inflow band right there was getting better and better faster and faster showing that this thing was going to produce Look at that. Look at that. This is going to produce. This is going to produce. Yes, I was right. And as evidenced by this video, I don't even know what I'm looking at and how amazing it is. Not right away. What's up? Behind the ring? Oh, you think that's, yeah, oh shit. I didn't even, <laughs> I was like, nah, that's not the, I, that's not the funnel. It's hard for me to stay quiet watching this video, even though I did some narration in the moment, just cause it's just so amazing looking back and remembering what it was like to watch it. Here's another time lapse showing that yes, this thing was big, it was rotating, and it wasn't fully condensed all the way to the ground. It was certainly a tornado. And some of the structure that you see on radar was very readily apparent in person, something that I, and many other chases, I'm sure, love to see. I said we got a beast. Not too far south of I-40. And it's somewhere right there. If you can even hear me. And obviously it's sped up here, but even in person the inflow band was moving quite fast. Here's a radar image of the velocity showing that yes, there was certainly a tornadic circulation there. The supercell though was still quite small looking, even on radar. Now, watching right here, this whole time it looked like there was some pretty significant movement, some circulation happening over, away from the main tornado. 
And that's because. Oh shit! There was gonna be a little anti-cyclonic tornado that followed the main. And yep, super excited. I had to take a selfie with it included. Just in case you can't tell, I'm pointing at the tornado right there. Yep, you can see it. Unfortunately, it did not recycle. This would be the second of the two tornadoes that we would see that day. And if anybody was complaining about, oh, the first one wasn't really a tornado, it wasn't making it all the way to the ground, that's fine. But the second one, no question, was revealing enough debris and dirt condensed all the way down, kicking up and saying that, yes, we definitely had at least one tornado that day. By my count, and by many others' count, though, two. In fact, my personal favorite was the first one, just because of how large, intimidating it looked. And speaking of intimidating, there's a couple time lapses that I did after almost breaking off from these storms to go chase further east, coming back after deciding that as late as it was in the day, I wasn't really wanting to go the opposite way from home. And this one was also amazingly photogenic, but never quite put down any tornadoes of its own. Some views that I got of it show the vaulted nature of the supercell where beautiful, almost wormhole-like appearance, like a portal. Hard to tell what, if anything, is a, a significant rotation. couple different points it looked like it was about to put down a tornado but it just never put down one but it was still beautifully photogenic and again this was far and away or rather near and clearly the closest that i had ever chased to home his second storm obviously didn't have as great of a velocity couplet, but it still had some rotation very clearly. Anyways, as I was saying, this was most definitely the closest that I have ever chased to home. The first storm chase that I had ever caught a tornado on was all the way in Wichita Falls, which from Albuquerque, is quite far, to say the least. But from Albuquerque to Encino, it's less than an hour drive. And as you can see right here, got some of my images on the news. The second tornado right here. For as many great images as there are that I got from that day, this one right here is definitely going to be remembered among them all. The selfie with that big cone tornado. And me looking like a tourist. The closest chase that I have ever done to home as of yet. High Plains Deception finally turned into High Plains Insanity.